screen. If you want the whole story on how to get animating, click on the flashing question mark. If you only need help on a particular button or function, just click on that button and I'll tell you more about it. Oh, and to leave this page, just click on Return. With this program, you can create your own cartoons starring, ta-da, me <laughs> and all the gang from Green Patch. You make each cartoon using the same simple steps. So once you've made one, you'll find the rest just get easier and easier. Oh, and to stop me talking, <laughs> just click your mouse button. Now, let's start. This is the work page. As you create your cartoon, it will appear on the stage in the middle. Your cartoon is made up of separate scenes with a title and an ending. When you created all the scenes, you can play your complete cartoon through from beginning to end. The scenes are shown below the stage here. First of all, your cartoon will need a title. Each time you start a new cartoon, this will be your first step. To choose the title, click on this button. Now, here's a new window. You'll be seeing quite a few of these. Here's where you choose all the fun bits and pieces to put on the stage. Click on the little picture of the title you would like to use, like this, and it appears in the view screen. To see how the animated title will look, click on the play button. If you'd like to write your very own title, you can type it in the text box below. Here, you can decide how you want your words to look. Clicking on this button lets you choose the shape of the letters in your words. Now, this is called the font. Clicking on this button lets you choose the size of your words. Small, like Marcia. <laughs> Medium, like me. <laughs> or large, like Splodge. <laughs> Clicking on this button makes your words look just like it says. Bold. Clicking on this button makes your words lean to one side. A bit like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> Clicking on this button puts a line underneath your words. Of course, to turn any of these choices off, simply click them again. Clicking on this button lets you choose what colour you want to make your words or letters. Now you've decided how you want your words to look, you can type them in the text box. You must limit your words to the size allowed. So what you see is what you get. To change your font and style at any time, just use the text change buttons. But remember, to change your words, you need to drag and select them first, like this. When you're happy with the title you've chosen or composed, click the done button and ta-da! The title appears on the stage, just like this. Your title and all the other scenes will probably look better with a background. Click on the background button and up pops another window where you can choose the background scenery or colour you want. Scroll through the backgrounds list, like this, and click on the one you'd like to use. It appears in the view screen so you can see how it will look. Now to change your choice, just click on another one. If you change your mind and don't want any background at all, just click outside the window to go back to the main stage. When you've decided on the background you want, click the Done button. Now, let's add some theme music for your grand opening. Click on the Music button and choose the music from the list. To hear how it will sound, click on the Hear button. If you'd like some background sounds instead, click on the Sounds button and choose from the list. When you're happy with your choice, click the Done button. <laughs> Great! We've finished the title page. 
Now we're ready to create the first scene. Click on scene number one on the scene's timeline. Let's put some characters on stage. Click on the picture of me. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> and then click on the picture of the character you want to use. Now you have a whole lot of animations to choose from. Just click on the one you want and see how it looks in the view screen. To change your choice, simply scroll through the list like this and click on another one. Now you have to choose some sound to go with your animation. Click on the picture of me to choose some spoken words like this and click on the ear to hear it. Excellent! Or you can choose some fun sound effects instead. Click on the effects button and make your choice from the scrolling list. When you're happy with your choice of character and sound, click Done. Click again to place the character on stage exactly where you want them. <laughs> that was so much fun. Let's do it again, eh? Oh, remember that you can only have one sound effect or voice for each scene. So, if you've already chosen the sound you want before with another character already on stage, this time choose none. Now, choose a background, just as you did on the title page. To change the background, simply click on the background button and choose a new one. Now, add some music or sound effects the same way. Click on this button to add some useful objects. We showbiz folks call these props. <laughs> Choose one from the list and remember to click play. Some of these props are tricky. <laughs> they move. Click anywhere you like to place your prop on the stage. Hmm. I think I want to be in front of that, not behind it. To rearrange things, just click and drag on the layers, like this. As you can see, you have 10 layers, which means you can have up to 10 things on stage at once. Press play to see how it looks so far. You can click on play at any time to see how each scene is looking. Uh. Well, now that's done, we can add the next scene. Click on the Add button to add a new scene to the timeline. See? All the things from the last scene have been copied over to this one. This makes it easier for what we TV stars call continuity. Click on the Characters button again to add some new animation and choose some new dialogue or sound effects, or choose none. If you put me on stage, exactly on top of myself, you will replace me with my new animation. Otherwise, just put me down somewhere else. <laughs> hey, I've always wanted to have a twin brother. <laughs> if you already have too many things on stage, just drag what you don't want into the rubbish bin. And if you want to get rid of everything for a complete change of scene, Click on the rubbish bin to clear the whole stage. To change the order of scenes, just click and drag like this. To see how the whole cartoon is looking so far, press the Go button. Oh, and if you want to add some words to your scene, you can type them in here. We call this a caption. <laughs> Click on the Add button again to create the next scene, and so on, until you've created a whole cartoon. Of course, your cartoon would not be complete without an ending. Click on the End scene, the one at the end, of course. <laughs> Scroll through the list, choose a The End, and click Play to see how it will look. Then. Fill in the names of all the people who helped create your masterpiece, even if they were all you. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to mention me in your special list of thank yous. <laughs>
Your cartoon is now finished with a title, your animation and an ending. To watch the whole thing through from beginning to end, click on Go. See? Easy peasy. Click on the new button to start a whole new cartoon from the beginning. Click on the load button to return to a cartoon that you've already saved. Click on export to save your cartoon as a movie. Then you can email it to your friends. Or, or just play it on your computer to show your parents. Wow! Click on the save button to save your cartoon onto your computer. This means you can return to it whenever you want. I suppose you already know what the help button does, as you wouldn't be hearing me if you hadn't already pressed it. <laughs>First of all, your cartoon will need a title. Each time you start a new cartoon, this will be your first step. To choose the title, click on this button. Excellent! Now, here's a trick. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Hi, kids! Hi, kids! Hi, kids! Hi kids! Hi kids! Hi kids! Hi ki Hi! 
this. To rearrange things, just click and drag on the layers, like this. As you can see, you have 10 layers, which means you can have up to 10 things on stage at once. Your cartoon is made up of separate scenes with a title and an ending. When you created all the scenes, you can play your complete cartoon through from beginning to end. The scenes are shown below the stage here. To change the order of scenes, just click and drag like this. If you're finished with this help page, just... Hi, kids!
Aha! Are you having fun? Are you having fun? But won't fit. I'll be back in a flash. I'll be back in a flash. I'll be back. I'll be back in a flash. I'll be back in a flash! Watch this! Watch this! Watch this! Watch this! Watch this! Watch this! Hi, kids!
don't worry. This is becoming a most extra. Blinky Bill gets himself into some pretty interesting situations. Ooh. Well, here we are.
kids? <laughs> I'll be back in a flash! <laughs> Watch this! I'll be back in a flash. 